dear monastic brothers dear other devotees coming from different parts of india particularly the volunteers well today i attended the first session after that well i am attending this session i have listened minutely the statements made by different volunteers and our swami etc and i was wondering well what has been started by swami shwetananda as a volunteers camp or volunteers no training camp to be precise well what is this future i was collecting the experiences of bhava prachar in the first four or five years and after that today it has come to such a stretcher so i was wondering what has been initiated by swami shwetananda ji well it has not only a bright future but it is going to be a positive force to strengthen further the ramakrishna movement now i am not going to give you first of all blessings etc i like all others of you i shall pray definitely to thakur ma swami ji now christopher ishapur considered that siramukshna's life story is a story of a phenomenon hinting at the mystic element of every phenomenon but when i think the siramukshna's life and teachings and the aura created by him they form the core of the ramakrishna movement manifested in their mot and mission sharada mot and sharada mission bhav prachar parishad etc this is a phenomena of greater dimension added to this <coughs> is this volunteers meet and this volunteers orientation camp the word orientation has given me has given me some new thought it is going to direct this positive force in a meaningful way that will not only strengthen the ramakrishna movement in general but will definitely also reach the areas which we have not touched till now now in a broad sense as many have mentioned in a broad sense the monastic members and non monastic members who are all present here they are all in one sense broad sense they are volunteers but the self sacrificing individualistic monks they have practically played a very unexpected role Swami Vivekananda told that he will bring about a revolution in the monastic order and at that time what he thought and what he did something very inspiring you know now what i find is that the monks as you know indian monks hindu monks they are very individualistic and interestingly sri ramakrishna used to ask the young people who is to visit him to read a book that book is in the museum here and there there is a chapter on the special features of hindu monk and this individualistic approach was something unique and it is sri ramakrishna's great contribution that he brought them together and told narendra nath on this much you please take care of them we see that that they don't give back to their family life and gradually it has come up and this is today 
the ramakrishna mode and ramakrishna mission and how many monastic institutions outside our order they have come up in bengal in chennai and in many places that is something remarkable it is almost like a movement point to the organization that has taken shape it has some special features let us not forget i have visited a number of the centers or mots set up by the followers of great shankaracharya everywhere i was found that they are controlled by the householders but ramakrishna mot and ramakrishna mission as far as i understand is the first monastic organization which is free from the control of the householders third women's organization that from which very much wanted and when that was executed in the when we are celebrating the holy mothers birth centenary and that is also a unique feature in the sense that so many i know so many women organization monastic organization they have come up this is the new feature then another very interesting and important thing is that some of you must be knowing carl jackson carl jackson wrote a book belonged to in the west and he was going to revise his own book and he came to calcutta and also belumot and he was a very very interesting person he went on asking me a lot of questions and then only i said well you have visited so many centers of the ramakrishna mot and ramakrishna mission what is the special feature that has impressed you very much he simply said well in short there is list regimentation this is something a remarkable opinion that he has given and if you see the mot rules the guide book for the monastic members prepared by swami vivekananda well and compare the guide books of the catholic order or other orders also whereas those books are something like our cambridge dictionary and swami ji you know in few pages he presented before us what we had to do this is something unique and you know what i have seen i am this order for a pretty long time i have seen attempts were made to impose new rules and regulations etc to strengthen the organization but it did not work this is something very special and when i was wondering about organization of the volunteers well these features need to be considered whether the guideline given by swami ji that should be our guideline for volunteers also or otherwise needs to be thought out thought over very seriously now the english word volunteer it has got the bengali meaning shetcha shevak and in hindi swayam shevak in any of these you know well whether whereas in the english meaning it is it means that one is offering the services without any expectation of money or any expectation of a position etc etc but shetcha shevak or swayam shevak it has got two connotations first of all the shevak he is actually is serving he is a servant of the naranarayana in every man there is naranarayana and he is in fact 
the servant of the and the other one is swachha willingly well it has a deeper significance first of all whenever you say swachha shevak well some of the swachha shevaks they join our order and they are forced practically by the circumstances to follow the mot rules which swami ji made everyone try to honor it so under certain circumstances you know the swachha shevak the volunteers they have they should have different kinds of attitudes different kind of not only attitudes the goal of life and particularly when you see that their role is not only different but at the same time they must be very clear about their motivation that is something very important and when we ever say we the volunteers need to be given some orientation it clearly means that there is a definite specific goal that should be made clearer still our general secretary moraj in his last speech he gave some very good ideas but i think that it should be made much more clear otherwise this particular idea that is if that is to be implemented uh, so it has to be clearer still swami ji has explained that what is the noble goal noble goal he said that atma no moksha artham jagat hitayo cha do you know this particular word cha created a halagolla i should say revered gomir maharaj the was he was then general secretary in our training center you know uh, welfare function or uh, or uh, there is they every year when they the train is go out there is usually a function in that meeting he said that left to myself i would have dropped shock there were so many seniors present uh, at least three of them told me afterwards uh, what he says uh, then i approached gombe maharaj maharaj you mentioned this well yes this is what i mean and afterwards he has developed that wonderful idea sheba yog whatever it is you know with cha the word cha can be used in six circumstances and here it is very clear the purpose so when we are using it then we should have one set of ideas and if they are not combined we will have another kind of idea so we have to be careful about it but when he became president i was lucky to find out a material written by sami sudananda ji so i was very much there i went and showed him then he said well i accept it henceforth i am not going to change my view so we have to be about the goal about the target we must be very sure before we give some training or some kind of uh, any other kind of you know voluntary ideas etc etc now this much i want to tell you the essence of all these statements etc etc is you know according to swami ji it is rooted in the spirit of self sacrifice as swami ji wrote in one letter pranatayopi parakallana chikitsava this self sacrifice that must be at the root of all these movements this is something very important and for this we have to be very careful about our intention when we are going to play the role of volunteer i just read out a few stanzas from one poem about the volunteers some do their best some build 
some make some never give but always take some lag behind some let things go some never help their organization grow some drag some pull some don't some do now you decide which of these are you so i request every one of you volunteers whether monastic or non monastic is please think about it you know member individual member in the context of the organization to which he belongs i found from the speeches of most of them that everyone meant the ramakrishna organization so from that point point, uh, point of view also we have to definitely ask ourselves what is our role and what is our contribution many thanks for giving me a patient hearing and i pray to sri sri thakur sri sri man sri sri swami ji i believe they are living forces and their presence can be felt so i pray to those living forces to help us go forward thank you